This video will demonstrate the structure of an output file for a geometry optimization in Sci4. So I've got my input file here called demo3.in. It is going to be benzene, hartree fock CCPV, TZ, a triple zeta Dunning basis set, and hartree fock So I've switched up my input file again just a little bit because I can, and Sci4 has the flexibility to do that. To do that. I've set my basis set up at the top, CCPVTZ. My memory is 4,000 megabytes. My molecule, in this case, I chose to name my molecule. I can choose to do or not do that. Either way will work. Uh, charge of zero, multiplicity of one, electrically neutral, and it is a singlet. And the six carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, again, those atoms could be in any order. And they're declared in the Cartesian XYZ format. Okay, instead of calling energy, as we did in previous videos, we're going to call optimize here to do an, a geometry optimization to get the minimum energy structure of this benzene molecule with respect to the nuclear coordinates for this method and basis set. Okay, so again, I have Psi4 in my path in my home directory slash miniconda slash bin slash sci4. The important part is that uh, my sci4 knows uh, where it is, that it exists. I also have my sci scratch variable set so that any any files that get written to disk are will be written there and will not be written to slash temp. Okay, so we're ready to run sci4. So I'm going to say sci4 demo3.in uh, in this case, I'll tell it to, to name my output demo3.out, which is the same as it would do by default. And I'll say to use four cores, running in background with the ampersand. So tailing my output, there's the first SCF iteration and gradient. Uh, it's going to take one geometry displacement. Do that again. Find a new geometry and keep iterating until it's found the minimum energy geometry to all the criteria that we that we give it. Okay, and this was a very quick job, so it is already finished. We see Sci4 exiting successfully, so we know that the optimization completed, and we see that we have final optimized geometry, which is at the bottom of the output file. Okay, so let's step through this output file and see what it contains. So much like the previous video on single points, we have a header talking about our version of Sci4 and some information about when and where this program was being run. We have the input file being repeated, letting us know what was the input file that ran. Then the SCF algorithm lets us know the geometry, lots of information about what algorithm it's running. And then we do our SCF iterations. In this case, we see we converge to 230.778 uh, Hartree's of energy for this benzene molecule. Um, notice that this uh, delta E, the energy here, has converged to a tighter value than it did in the single point calculation uh, to 2 times 10 to the minus 11th uh, for the change in energy. So Psi4 recognized this is a geometry optimization and you would want to have your energy converge tighter in a geometry optimization. Psi4 recognized that by default. Similarly for the convergence of the density matrix elements. Okay, so those have converged. We have again orbital energies for 21 doubly occupied orbitals, virtual orbitals up to the number of basis functions, 264, total RHF energy, some components of that, uh, dipole moments. So five seconds for that first iteration, five seconds total thus far. Then we call the SCF gradient. So we're gonna calculate the first derivative of that energy with respect to the uh, Cartesian coordinates of every single atom in our molecule. Running analytic hartree fock gradients here. So computed those gradients in atomic units. There they are, those, those derivatives. And now we call OptKing, which is gonna take those gradients and based off of the, those gradients and the molecular structure, it's going to pick a way to displace the coordinates such that it'll uh, get the best approximation to what it thinks the minimum energy geometry is uh, for using in the next step. 
Okay, so there's our first step. We have our first energy. We have the change in energy, which is just the total energy right now. The maximum force or the maximum gradient on any single atom relative to what we need that value to converge to. Uh, same thing for the root mean squared force, the maximum displacement in terms of angstroms. So we displaced uh, the atom the furthest was 0 0.027 angstroms and root mean squared over all the atoms. Gives us the geometry which it's going to use for the next step. And then we are going to repeat the SCF again. We're going to do this again. It's going to give us convergence. Notice it's converging quicker because we had better guess orbitals, the orbitals from the previous iteration. Orbitals are going to change. Uh, Notice our energy is slightly lower than before. We're getting a slightly better geometry. Same thing, we do the gradient again. Hopefully it's a little bit closer to zero this time. OptKing is going to make some kind of displacement to the molecule. We're going to run SCF again, and we're going to keep going until the results have converged. Okay, so I can see I'm at the end here. Finally, when it reaches the end, we have the summary of all the steps. In this case, it took three steps to reach our convergence criteria, getting down to a final energy of 230.78 Hartree's. Um, we have our delta E going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, f four times 10 to the negative fifth Hartree's change between iterations. Max force was one times 10 to the minus fourth atomic units and the maximum displacement was 0 0.0002, 2 times 10 to the minus fourth angstroms. Okay, and then it gives us our final geometry, which is now the optimized structure within this particular, in, uh, within this particular method and basis set for this particular molecule. One more thing of note we might be interested in before we move on is that we can use the command grep, so G-R-E-P, and we can grep the at character in our output file, and that'll give us SCF iterations. So we can look at the first uh, it, the first uh, computation of the energy, it took 15 steps, get our final energy. This is the only line that uses the at character inside the file. Second second uh, calculation to only took seven steps because we had better a better guess orbitals, and the third and final iteration only took five steps. Okay, and similarly, those are for the SCF uh, iterations. If we want the geometry iterations, we can grep the character tilde, and that will give us, in the middle of the computation, it'll give us these as the, as the individual, uh, as the individual steps come out, they'll, they'll have each have one line that has this, and then it's all summarized again at the end. So we can see how well we're doing relative to what our convergence criteria are as we're going. And we see that we eventually reached our convergence criteria for maximum force, the, the largest possible gradient, and the maximum displacement, how far the atoms moved in angstroms. Uh, the criterion for the change in energy wasn't reached. Usually by default, we have to reach two out of three of these. Uh, changing around the various options inside of Cy4 can change what these values are and how many of them have to be reached. But these are the default values that are used for now. So that's a basic demo of the structure of the output file for a geometry optimization in Cypher.